What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. For those that are new here, my name is Eric and this is my 2022 M340i X-Drive. In today's video, we're gonna be installing a full stainless steel cat back exhaust with valves that goes front to back from the active auto work catted downpipe all the way to the rear with new exhaust tips in carbon fiber. If you guys are interested in the exhaust, make sure you hit the links in the description and check it out. And this is a great deal for a full stainless exhaust. It does come with new valves and a new valve system with a remote so you can open and close those. Before we put the exhaust on, we're gonna take the car out right now. I've actually removed the active auto work catted down pipe. So let's go ahead and go hit the streets with this thing in its stock condition and we'll come back to the shop, get the exhaust and the down pipe installed and then we'll hit the streets again and see how much of an improvement it makes. All right guys, it has been a day. We've let the M340i cool down, so we are now ready to get the exhaust removed. We're gonna be jacking it up from the side. Um, the M340i is actually too long for the quick jacks. So we're gonna be using two normal jacks to jack up the side and remove the connection for the down pipe, um, the mid pipe, and then we're going to be removing the cross brace. We'll put everything back down and then we're gonna jack up just the rear so that we can remove the valve system and lower down the rear muffler and remove the whole exhaust as one system. Once it's on the ground, we're gonna be putting it next to the new exhaust system and building them next to each other so that we can make sure that all the pipes are lined up in the exact orientation. And we'll show you guys the exhaust once we get it off. All right guys, we just got the full stock exhaust out. It's fairly simple. Really the only tools you're gonna need is a 13 millimeter socket and a E10 torque. The E10 is gonna be to remove the cross brace that's underneath the exhaust. And then everything to do with the exhaust you can take off with just a 13 mil. I'm gonna walk you through all the fasteners that we removed. So first up we have the clamp that holds it to the downpipe. Right here we have a bracket that has a 13 mil nut on the bottom for the mid pipe. And then there's nothing in the middle at all that holds it in except for there's a cross brace right here that you take off with the torques. And then we have this exhaust hanger, which has a bolt that goes through it as well. And then we have two more of those exhaust hangers in the back, one right here and one right here. So if you remove all of those, you can lower everything down. The only other thing is we disconnected the plug from the uh, exhaust valve right here, and then we can get everything else mocked up next to it, and we know it will fit.
All right guys, so we got the full stock exhaust out of the M340i and we have the full aftermarket exhaust put together. We loosely fitted everything together using the stock exhaust as a guide so we know exactly where we want everything to route. It utilizes all of the factory mounting locations and the factory hangers, so we swapped those over from the stock exhaust to the aftermarket one. Everything is just loosely fit together, like I said, so we're gonna go ahead and put it underneath the car, get it jacked up, and we'll see how this thing sounds once we get it started up. Alright guys, so we are working on getting the wiring for the valve system ran. We need a place to run the wires from down below where the exhaust is up into the trunk so that we can power it and connect it to the control unit. So we actually removed a grommet. I'm going to show you guys where you get this and we drill the hole in it so that we can pass the wires through and then we'll put the grommet back in and then it should be shielded from the weather and able to run into the trunk smoothly. You guys take a look right here where the battery is. We have the trunk liner out and the side out as well. Right here, this grommet comes out and we're gonna be passing the wires in through here and we're gonna be putting the box somewhere down here and connecting it to power. And then we'll show you guys the routing for that when it's done. All right guys, I wanna show you the routing for the valve system. So we have everything right here inside of the battery box. I double side stuck the control module right here and then the wires run through the grommet. And then we have the one power wire that runs up and over. And I actually tapped into this wire right here. This connects to the 12 volt cigarette lighter in the trunk. And I just tapped the 12 volt power and ground with some taps that I got from AutoZone. We're gonna be able to put all the trim back in and it should have power only when the key's on. I think we're good to go. All right guys, we got the exhaust installed. Everything is in the car, it actually fit great. We had to make some modifications to these rear pipes just to get the tips to sit perfectly. It was okay the way it came, but I'm a little bit OCD and wanted these to sit perfectly even. We're ready to go, we can start this thing up. I don't know if the valves are open or if they're closed, so we'll be running it once we start it up and then we'll open or close the valves depending on which one it's on. Here. Go under the car 
and make sure there's no exhaust leaks at any of the clamps that we put on there. <laughs> All right guys, just like that, the full exhaust install is done. Um, it's super late right now and I'm super tired, so I'm gonna head home and I will see you guys tomorrow so we can get some sound clips from the outside of this thing flying down the road. guys thanks so much for checking out today's video make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it subscribe to check out some more content and i will see you guys in the next video peace all right guys so it has been a day we've let the m340i cool off so now we can touch all the exhaust and get everything removed why that sound so we touch the exhaust we don't, we're not <laughs> touching it all right, guys, it has been a day. We've let the M340i cool down, so we are now ready.